Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Chris from Wilkie Rides. The day is finally here. I'm finally getting around to making a video about my first ride and initial impressions of EXT's new era mountain bike fork. So first off, thank you for all the comments and support on the first video. I know this one took a little bit longer than expected to make, but um, we had some pretty rough weather last weekend in North Conway. <laughs> oh yeah. It was actually really fun to get up there on the mountains and ride. It's a great testing grounds for how well this fork can track the ground and hold traction. But it really wasn't the best weather to film and talk simply because the lens kept getting covered in ice and rain and mud. Oh. So I did manage to film some riding and talking. More importantly, my first ride on the first trail on the new fork. That was really cool, so let's go check that out. All right, so North Conway, New Hampshire, and riding the new Cranmore Connector flow trail. And also riding my new EXT Aero Fork. Pretty socked in at the moment. Lots of wet and slimy roots and rocks, so proper test for the fork and see what it's all about. It's much different than the Fox 38 that came off this bike. This one just feels, it just tracks so much better. Woo. And right away, something I really notice is really riding like really high in this travel but that's not taken away from the comfort over these sort of medium sized hits so it's not like there's like too much mid stroke support so one of the first things I noticed when I hopped on this trail uh, for my first ride was the fork was just glued to the ground. And I feel like, you know, I, I do have some compression in there, um, but I mean, it feels like the fork is just so slippery and it's just tracking the ground incredibly well. And, you know, there haven't been any sort of like big hits by any means, maybe some like, you know, medium sized stuff, but, um, you know, lots of just roots uh, and rocks and wet leaves, so. Uh, traction is really at a premium um, but yeah I mean I really haven't the fork has been riding really high in its travel um, which I feel like I'm a lot higher than you know the previous Fox 38 that I took off of it and um, yeah it's it's almost strange it's um I'm not used to that feeling by any means so I'll get right to it this fork is really cool and it's pretty different than anything I've really ever ridden before. I've ridden the new Fox stuff, so the 2021 36 and the 2021 Fox 38. I've also ridden RockShox products, 
um, including the Lyric, would be the new Debonair Spring, uh, but I have not ridden the new Zeb, so one thing to take into consideration. So one thing that really sticks out with the EXT fork versus the others is how crazy slippery this thing is. It just seems to conform to every single thing over the ground. It just, it tracks incredibly well. This thing just rides so high in the travel and it's not really, you know, the initial stroke of the fork isn't really anything special, but it's, you know, the mid stroke. So right around like sag point, you know, so right around here. So it just stays there and sometimes you know, forks that seem to have like too much mid-stroke support seem to be pretty harsh on those uh, sort of like mid-sized hits and have a hard time kind of going through its travel, but it just feels so crazy smooth and the mid-stroke gets supportive. So it's, it's really weird, actually. It's not something I've ever felt before. And I'm just sort of getting accustomed to it. So, it's, yeah, it's just different. So one thing I've always really liked about RockShox was how smooth they are and how supple they are. And I think they track the ground really well, but they do lack support. And that's why I like Fox, because they're very supportive. You know, some people say they're definitely more of a racer's fork. Uh, and I think that's just because they're so supportive. Uh, I don't think they have the same amount of comfort as RockShox products do. When you're going fast through chunk and some sort of like unpredictable terrain, you don't necessarily know what's coming next. I like to have that support. So I don't go over the bar, so my fork just doesn't, you know, dive down and totally lose control. Uh, that is really important to me. One thing that really sticks out to me on the EXT fork is how silky smooth the compression is. So adjusting these dials right here, I can really add quite a bit of compression and I feel like it doesn't increase the friction. I feel on Fox forks, they're, they're pretty like over damped. So, you know, when I'm riding the amount of compression that I think I should have, I feel like the fork has just so much more like friction going down and it has a harder time you know tracking the ground and I know that's doesn't really make much sense because more compression harder to compress the fork right so but I just feel like the the EXT fork you can sort of have it all you know you can have that compression and support but you at the same time you just get that same level of traction and I think that's because They've spent so much time reducing friction, you know, like the, the damper rod and everything is, has their special coating. It's uh, a little bit bigger of like a high flow piston in there. So it just, it just moves through that compression so smooth. And I feel like it just doesn't take anything away from the air spring. I think they've really, really nailed it with this. With other RockShox stuff and Fox product, I feel like I run a lot of air pressure in order to keep the fork really high in the travel. And with RockShox, they just seem to dive pretty easy. So I find myself adding a ton of compression on RockShox. Yet with Fox, I feel like they're pretty over damped, especially the 38. The 38 was way too over damped. I ended up riding the both the low speed and the high speed pretty much all the way open on those exact same trails and I didn't nearly have as much traction as I did with the EXT with uh, compression. So on those same trails, however, my 2021 Fox 36, uh, I feel did pretty good. I felt like the compression on that fork was not over damped and it tracked the ground pretty good but of course not as good as the EXT. So it's unfortunate I wasn't able to do more sort of like talking and riding and sort of like some like mid trail breakdowns on, you know, specific like terrain features and how the fork reacted. But maybe I'll do that on another track, uh, better weather, something like that. Uh, but it was just, 
It was really cold, really wet. At least I did end up getting some footage. I think the rocks still have some grip on them. Man, it is slippery. Glasses were too fogged up to put them on, so. Whoa. In my mouth. Yum. Yeah, wish I had some eyewear right now. It's a little hard to see, especially with the borderline freezing rain. Woo! That one looks maybe a little bit slippery. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Rock roll. You see that sweet pile at the bottom of it? <laughs> Spicy. Higher speed chunk. Yeah, love this. Nice flat leafy corner. <laughs> Phew. All right. Sendero, North Conway, New Hampshire. Wow, oh, this beautiful turn. Oh, good one. So is the EXT era stiffer than a Fox 36, 38, RockShox Lyric? Well, I can tell you it is stiffer than a Fox 36 and it is stiffer than a RockShox Lyric. I don't think it's stiffer than a Fox 38 though. The 38 is really stiff. It's a burly fork for sure, but I don't necessarily think that's a good thing. And if you look at the EXT era, especially on the crown area, it is pretty beefed up and I think it's stiff in all the right areas and it's just going to take some more time for me to make a better assessment on you know how it does truly stack up against the 38 in terms of stiffness. One thing I'm really interested in seeing is how long this fork is going to stay slippery. Is this something that's gonna need a little bit more maintenance than both the Fox and Rock Shock stuff? Because, you know, tolerances might be a little bit tighter uh, and all the special oil they use to make this fork so crazy slippery. Is it gonna break down faster? So that will be interesting. Is this something I'm gonna have to do a lower leg service on? You know, uh, less than 50 hours? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos like this. I just got the Reval Control SL wheels, the sub 1300 gram cross country race wheel set, but it has a 29 millimeter internal width and it has like a pretty like wide bead hook too. So I put them on my Specialized Enduro. I also have the new Specialized T9 compound tires. So I'm gonna be making a first impressions video uh, of those to you. So thanks for tuning in to another video. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this stuff, hit subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think about this fork. Have you ridden one? Do you own one? Have you even seen one in the wild yet? Let me know. And uh, I'll see you next video.